Planting a tree has become the most common image of climate action. It is how we restore nature and rebalance our Earth's natural carbon cycle. In fact, over a third of the emission reductions we need by 2030 can be provided by nature-based solutions. But how do we ensure trees planted are valued more as standing forests rather than clear-cut timber? The voluntary carbon market is finding innovative ways to pay for the carbon sequestered as trees grow and as they stand. One exciting way that carbon finance helps increase global tree cover is by making less profitable but more sustainable land use options economically viable. In this case, rubber tree forests are harvested for latex, which is collected by slicing the bark and allowing the natural latex to seep out into buckets. It's a process similar to harvesting maple syrup. Harvesting rubber creates sustainable jobs for local people in the area. Since rubber trees are harvested daily around 5 a.m. in the morning, a rubber tree must usually grow for around six years before it starts producing latex. Rubber trees from this project will produce natural latex for around 30 years, and at the end of their productive life, when they reach maturity, the trees will be harvested for high-quality wood products, like furniture, which is a form of long-term carbon storage, unlike wood that is harvested to be burned as fuel. Importantly, any trees harvested at maturity must be replanted to ensure that the forest, once established, remains standing in order to store the carbon removed from the atmosphere. To monitor the carbon removed by this project, tree growth is measured over time and carbon credits can only be generated by the growth of trees that has been monitored and independently verified. It is a scientific process where a hypothesis, or expected amount of carbon sequestration, is tested. The actual growth of trees is monitored and then the total amount of carbon emission removals, which is then issued as carbon credits, is either adjusted up or down according to the project's performance. While newly planted rubber tree forests are nowhere near as carbon rich or biodiverse as pristine native rainforest, afforestation and reforestation projects take place on degraded lands where the land itself and its soil has lost all natural productivity due to human overexploitation. Sustainably managed land in this way both increases tree cover and ensures that the land is not further degraded or damaged. Thriving forests are one of our most valuable resources in rebalancing the Earth's natural carbon cycle. This reforestation project aims to restore over 10,000 hectares of degraded lands with sustainably managed rubber tree forests. Carbon Finance helps innovative forestry projects like this one increase tree cover, connect existing forests to create biodiversity corridors, and invest in tree nurseries for future planting.